So milkweed, of course, is well known for being a pollinator attractor, and most people think of it as bees and butterflies. But look at this one. Here is a nice little patch of milkweed, and look at all of the moths in this one. The little tiny moths, I believe, are, uh, I'm not sure of the species, but I think it's the genus is Petrophila. But look at the yellow-colored skate moths, a really cool wasp mimic. And you can actually see the wasp mimic right down there um, below it. And again, these, this is a daytime flying moth. And it pretends, again, what pretends, it's evolved to look like, oh, there's actually more than one um, showing it. And of course, there's also a <laughs> beetle feeding on it. But, um, but again, just tons. Oh, and a yellow jacket just grabbed a petrophila moth and carried it away. So look at this, the whole the, the, the drama that goes on in this one little, one little patch here. And if you, if you think this is the, uh, if it's isolated type of thing, look right next door at this other milkweed patch. And look at, again, another lesser collared skate moth. Tons of the little petrophila uh, moths. And these are the ones that were feeding on it at night. You can see down there, they're waiting now. They usually feed at night anyways. And you see just tons of moths all over waiting their chance. And there is our yellow jacket. And look at it eating, feeding on the petrophila. She's going to... Uh, she stung it, she tears it apart, and then takes the pieces back to feed her young. So in that way, you know, yellow jackets, a lot of people don't realize that they're beneficial and they do control some pests, although we wouldn't call these, of course, all pests. And then, as I mentioned, look at the combination here of yellow colored skate moths and petrophila moths just all over this milkweed patch. Milkweed patch is just amazing for life that they have. So when people plant these things and they're thinking, oh, I'm planting something for the, for the monarchs. Sure you are, but look at all the other stuff that benefits too, at least while it's in bloom. There's that one. You're going to look and you'll see that this other one also covered. Um, there's the one right here, also covered. Again, what a neat, neat little thing. This one's past its prime, but there's still a few guys still hanging on there. So um, how neat is that to be able to see this uh, taking, all taking place in this milkweed patch.